I'm going to record. And when we do, oh, here we go. Well, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. It's Thanksgiving in the United States. And even though the world is in chaos, depending on what uh, media stream you're involved in, um, we can still be grateful in the midst of it all because all we really have is this moment. I was saying a, a few minutes ago that we're, I'm going to read you a excerpt from a book I wrote called Soul Centered, which I wrote as part of a journey I've had into meditation and as part of the journey to becoming less codependent and basing my happiness on the world out there. And this is more about resourcing my happiness and your happiness from your interior. So it's a subtle shift that can make a huge difference in my life, in your life, and the lives of people that love you. So I'm going to read you just a little bit, and um, it's called Appreciating Your Life, and what better day to appreciate our lives than today. We woke up this morning. That's something we can appreciate. We are taking breaths, I believe, at this time, hopefully, and that's something I appreciate, and I know you do too. So let's take a moment before I read it to close your eyes if you're comfortable doing that and you're not driving. Maybe deepen your breath a moment. And appreciating the fact that you are right here. That you are breathing, you are listening, you are living. And as you sit here, begin to welcome everything that you hear. Every sound. Whether they're far away or in another room, or whether they're in your interior, Begin to welcome every sensation that you might be feeling. Your feet on the ground, the support of the seat underneath you. The air on your skin. The breath moving in and out of your body. And take a moment now and invite the affirmations. I love my life. I appreciate my life. And before we get into a short discussion, I'm going to invite you to keep your eyes closed. And on your left hand, I'm assuming you have five fingers, but if not, identify five things, people, places, experiences that you are grateful for. And on your right hand, identify five qualities, characteristics, or passions that you have that you're grateful for about yourself. You can slowly begin to open your eyes. That's our mini gratitude practice. You can do anywhere, anytime. And you know, gratitude is a, 
is a verb, right? It's a practice, being grateful, full of greatness, full of appreciation, full of thankfulness, right? Um, it's a practice. And if we aren't doing it consciously, what can happen is some of us can start to feel the weight of the world and start to feel a little bit um, victimized by the strife in our world, in our families, in, in the communities that we're in. And this can keep us from feeling grateful. So gra gratitude is something we want to invite. We want to do as a pra active practice. And there's a science that backs up uh, gratitude, changing your brain, your body, changing your perspective. And over time, it becomes a habit. Now, maybe you remember to be grateful if you're sitting down in front of a meal or after you've had a really nice talk with a friend, or maybe you write a thank you note if someone's giving you some gifts for your birthday or holiday. But gratitude as a practice helps to clear your mind. And you cannot necessarily be grateful outside of being in the present moment. It's a feeling that happens in the present moment. So even though your mind might travel to the past, I'm so grateful for that experience, the feeling is happening in the present moment. So gratitude refines your focus, it refines your sensitivity. And as I often say to people, what you look for, you will find. So that's why we do that mini gratitude practice, five items that you're grateful for on your left hand and five things, qualities, values about yourself on your right hand. So there's the science says that as we're grateful, we lower the stress in the nervous system. Grateful people have lower levels of stress and lower levels of depression. They experience more optimism and people would comment that grateful people are more empathetic, more compassionate. They're viewed as more generous and more helpful. And people who appreciate their lives like you, like me, can start to see the web of interconnectedness. Sitting right here, you can bring your attention to what you're grateful for in terms of being right here. Maybe your computer or your phone, maybe your ability to hear, maybe your ability to sit comfortably or relatively comfortably. People who are grateful place less importance on their own material wealth and are less likely to judge others based on what they have. Gratefulness is what I believe our common humanity calls for, is to be grateful, to have the ability to help, to hold, to love, to see, to feel, to breathe, to pray, so it's kind of a spiritual shift and helps us to make our awareness of life being a gift more prominent. So let's take just a moment here. And if you'd like to put in the chat what you're grateful for, I know the list is long. So your top three, maybe the top three people, places, and things you're grateful for. And I'll do the same thing. What are you grateful for? So I'll read a few as you're maybe coming up with yours, grateful for nature, life, love, peace, freedom, my mom, my job, running, our meditation community, nature, family, friends, and sunshine, my home, my friends, my family, my five siblings, my friends, my lovely home, my life, my partner, my good health. So as we start to look for the ways in which uh, we're supported by life, how we what we're appreciating, it starts to pop out and the, the list is endless. The list is endless. Maybe you're grateful for the clothes you're wearing right now. I'm grateful for my husband in the kitchen cooking with his son some food for later. 
So there's so much to be grateful for and the list is endless, but just by putting your attention on what you're grateful for, you are shifting your physiology. You are changing the neuro pathways of the brain. And so it's a practice I like to do every morning. So some of you, when you wake up, you just jump out of bed, you're alarmed, right? Your alarm has woken you up, you jump out of bed and then you might start scrolling or thinking about your day or what you need to do. I'd like to suggest maybe starting tomorrow morning that you wake up and you take a moment to be glad that you just opened your eyes. Now, I think it's Thich Nhat Hanh, the Zen Buddhist monk who says, another 24 hours, another 24 hours. I think that um, for those of us who have had brushes with death or chronic illness or, or acute illness and recognize our mortality, many of us say, well, if I could only have one more day, if I could only have another week, and then we could say, well, what would I do with that? And unless that's in your awareness, you know, we tend to take our lives for granted. So I know we're all on the peace team. So maybe we can create gratitude as, um, or appreciation as a contagion, rather than stress, and rather than fear, and rather than feeling victimized by our surroundings or not being able to do anything about it. So let's start to meditate now. Um, I'm still reading some of these Wait, these items you're grateful for. A lot of family and close friends and community is the is the key for me too. So let's take a moment and get comfortable. We're going to meditate for about 20 minutes. We're going to do a gratitude practice. And I like to start with a body awareness practice, a breath awareness practice, and then move into the gratitude practice. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being willing to be the contagion of peace, to infect your body with peace, to infect the world with that ripple effect of peace and appreciation. It's a really high vibration. And um, I'm, I'm so grateful for you to do it. So as we get comfortable, you can either close your eyes or you can gaze softly toward your hands or the floor. I'll be keeping track of the time. And as you sit here, just comfortably adjusting your posture as needed, I want to remind you that during this practice, it's okay to lose track of what's going on. It's okay to have thoughts of something other than what we're talking about here. It's okay if you lose a, lose a sense of what's going on, you just start your to-do list. Just simply come back again and again to this moment, to your body, to your breath. This is what's happening now this body, this breath, breath, this process of life. So as you sit here, begin to allow the stress and tension to fade away. Inviting your body to soften and relax. As you soften your face, Lower your shoulders. Soften your hands, your torso. Might invite some long, slow, deep breaths if you can through your nose. Breathing in slowly and fully. And exhaling slowly and fully. Three long, slow, deep breaths can send a signal to your body that it's okay to relax. and allow your breath to return to its natural rhythm and depth. Feeling the breath as it moves in and out of the body with ease. Five, 
following the inhale with your awareness. Noticing the pause and following the exhale with your awareness. Continuing to be aware of the breath. And add a little ingredient to this awareness. Add the ingredient of appreciation or gratefulness. Awareness plus appreciation. And now draw your attention to the rise and fall of the chest as you breathe naturally. Settling your awareness on the area of your heart. Whether you see, feel, or experience a beam of light filling the entire heart center, shimmering, golden. With each in-breath, invite this feeling of warmth, of light, Your heart center is the home of love, compassion, appreciation, and connection. And with each in-breath, allow the golden light to expand in your awareness. Maybe moving up into your throat, down into your belly and diaphragm. See, feel, or imagine this glow, this inner glow of yours. Perhaps you can feel the glow moving beyond your edges where your skin begins and ends. Maybe there's some excitement in your cells or in your skin. Maybe a tingling. And imagine that we're all sitting here in a circle around this country, around our neighboring countries, around the world glowing with appreciation and inner light. And we coexist with everything else in this moment. Sense your connection to those of us sitting with you here. You may not know our names or where we're sitting. You can sense our common humanity and our commitment to creating more peace in our lives. And as you sit here, you can begin to appreciate the people in the other room or sitting in the room with you or have perhaps your pets. And 
You can expand your appreciation and connection to your neighbors. And for the community that you call yours, your friends, your family, even those who have left their body. And perhaps those that are yet to come. Sitting in your glow, appreciating the connections you have. And as each person arises in your awareness, you might silently say, thank you for being in my life. We'll do this for a couple of minutes. Each person who is here now or is been with you as part of your life, or even those who might be joining your life in the future. Thank you. And now, bring your attention back to the heart center, inviting that glow, that sense of appreciation with each breath once again. Simply appreciate your life, your beautiful life. And bring your attention now to your beautiful body. Your ride for this life. This body that sustains you, that moves you, that holds you, that loves you. Your body, your best friend. Perhaps you feel grateful for the organs in your body, the lungs that respond to each breath. The blood that circulates without you having to think about it. Your heart beating. your strong, loving heart. Your kidneys, your liver, all your internal organs that do their job without a fuss. You can even imagine that your attention in and of itself is love. 
So bringing your attention to any area of your body that maybe calls out for a little extra attention. Your joints, your bones, perhaps an organ or two, your skin. And let your gentle attention rest on this beautiful body of yours. And bringing your attention to your breath once again. Appreciating the inhale, the exhale, your ability to sense the breath. Finding gratitude for the senses, the inner sight, the visions, the sounds, your ability to speak. Your ability to feel, to move, to taste. Invite this feeling of great fullness, gratitude for this life and its beauty. Gratitude for any sense of the divine you might feel or connection to being loved. And as you sit here, allow whatever wants to arise in your awareness to come and meet it with a visceral sense of gratefulness or appreciation or simply the words, thank you. We'll sit in silence for a couple of more minutes. glowing with gratitude and appreciation.
Before we open our eyes to end the meditation, let's take a moment now to welcome the space around you, to acknowledge that's the space you get to roam in, to move in, to be in. Appreciating the light of your awareness. Appreciating this very moment. That your awareness meets with your senses. Hearing it, feeling it smelling it and tasting it. You might even notice that you can see the light through your eyelids. You might begin to slowly begin to open your eyes. First with a downward gaze, letting a little light in or out, depending on the light in your room. Whatever your gaze lands on, inviting that feeling of appreciation. Thank you to your pen or your desk, the mug or the water. And maybe your eyes are resting on the people that are on this call with you. All these beautiful faces. As you begin to open your eyes a little more, not rushing, you can close them again if you need to have that internal experience. When you feel ready, there's no rush, you can open your eyes all the way. And see who you were glowing with. <laughs> and see if you can today meet each moment when you remember to with the awareness of appreciation. It doesn't coexist with the awareness of complaining. It doesn't coexist. Appreciation can't coexist with anxiety. Appreciation is what makes a good life great. And it's contagious. So hopefully you make that your intention today is to appreciate your life. When I lived in the Zen monastery, there was a little plaque on the wall that says awaken awaken do not squander your life and every moment of your life lived with appreciation is beautiful and uh, makes the world a better place so thank you for joining me today i'm going to stop the recording